in October, it feels like summertime. Hi guys, it's Nicole and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I thought I would do a little Q&A just talking about like quarantine, just like a life update, you know? I feel like I haven't really filmed a Q&A or just like a sit down talking video in so long. And also, I just wanna like catch up with you guys. I posted this on my Instagram story a few days ago. There is a hair on me. Yeah, I just asked you guys to ask me some questions about my quarantine and then I picked out some questions. I have like 20 of them that I wanna answer. So we're just gonna be talking about my quarantine experience, I guess. I hope you guys enjoy make sure to subscribe and let's get on with the video if you guys are wondering about my outfit Basically, it is so hot in the house. I live in California and it is currently getting hotter I feel like for the past few months. It's been kind of cold. It's 84 degrees right now And that's probably not like that hot for some people It's just hotter than like what it usually is So that's why I'm wearing shorts a tank top and then a bathing suit top <laughs> Anyways, let's start with the questions. The first two questions are kind of similar It's what have you been doing to keep entertained and what do you do in your free time or when you're bored? and you've run out of things to do. Great question. I feel like everyone is bored of quarantine already. Like the second day of quarantine, everyone was already bored, which is totally like the case for me sometimes. But I've been trying to do some stuff and like be productive instead of just laying around in bed all day, which trust me, I've definitely done some days, like just lay down and watch Netflix the whole day. But then there are other days where I want to be productive. So whether that's doing schoolwork, uh, working out, taking online dance classes, hanging out with family, that's what I love about quarantine because all of my family is home, so we get to spend more time together. Let's see, making TikToks. Definitely done a lot of those. Filming YouTube videos. I post every Friday, but I've been trying to come out with content and hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Oh, and then also Netflix, of course. I've watched like so many series and movies I can't even count. Hi guys. So I'm currently editing this video and I thought there was a question about like what movies and shows I've been binging, but I guess there wasn't and I never really talked about like what I've been watching. So I'm just hopping on here and telling you guys what I've been watching. I started The Vampire Diaries a few weeks ago and I'm on season... What's the last season? I'm on season eight and it's so good. I'm on team Damon. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you should watch Vampire Diaries and pick team Damon. I understand if you're on team Stefan, I can understand where you're coming from, but team Damon all the way. Also, I've been watching The Office. I've also started that a few weeks ago and I'm almost done with that. Let's see, I watched All American in like two days, like the whole series. On My Block is a good one, Jane the Virgin. There's like The Good Place. And then, oh, Outer Banks is the one that everyone's talking about. I haven't gotten to that yet. I'll probably watch that soon and then People have been saying they've been finishing it in like one day. So that'll probably be me. But yeah, those are some of the shows that I've been binging. For some reason, I just didn't answer them in this video. So I wanted to come on here, tell you guys. If you have any other suggestions, go to my community tab and you can comment them there. I definitely have a lot of time to watch. So let me know. Back to the video. And the next question is how to stay positive during quarantine. I actually get this question a lot. I always say surrounding yourself with people who make you happy makes you happy. Being around my family, that always keeps me happy. But I understand that there are some people who don't have a close relationship with their family. So I would say like try to find some things in quarantine that you have interest in and you want to try it out. Because whenever I try something that I've wanted to try, I'm always determined and like happy to do it. So whether it's finding a new hobby or stuff like that. And also thinking about like the bigger picture. Like if you are in a house right now, you should be so grateful. There are so many families right now that are being affected by COVID. They don't have the supplies that they need to survive, which makes me so sad, so I'm praying for them. But like, there are so many families out there that are going out of business, so they don't have money to get like food or even have shelter, like stay in a house. So I would say just think about the bigger picture and think about like what's going on in the world and be grateful for what you have. This kind of goes with the last question when you're bored. Before you start complaining about like, oh, I just want to go out and see my friends, like quarantine sucks, I'm so bored in the house just think about that there are some people who don't even have a house to stay in so just don't take anything for granted that's definitely a lesson that quarantine has taught me that i should be so thankful for what i have this has made me realize like what is going on in the world and what people are going through so yeah i kind of went off on a little tangent there but staying positive is so important during this time because there are so many people going through so much so if you can just step back and think about what you have and that you're grateful for it i feel like that will make you happy as well and to help with that you could like write in a notebook or write on a piece of paper Thing that I'm grateful for like a gratitude list I feel like that gives you time to think about it and then you can write it down and realize like how many things that you should be grateful for so yeah I think that's how I've been staying positive during this time have you done a lot of online shopping yet p.s. love you and you're dancing thank you I love you too and yeah I have been online shopping you know you're just bored and then you go on your laptop click 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 you just bought like a bunch of clothes I actually just got two bathing suits today from PacSun it's this yellow one and then the other one has like butterflies on it 
it's very cute i'll put pictures on the screen but yeah i just got two bathing suits and then i also shopped from brandy that package hasn't come in yet but i got a few shirts and some sweatpants so i'll probably do a haul on my igtv or something like that and i think that's everything i've bought so far do you and your family play games when you guys have like your family time yes we do so we have the nintendo switch and we are obsessed with mario party mario party is so fun mario kart that's also a really fun one we have super smash bros and then mario brothers it's like the classic one that everyone had on their wii's and stuff we also played monopoly one night do you stay in pjs all day or try to look nice it definitely depends on the day there are some days where i'm just like lazy and i don't want to change out of my clothes i'm just wearing sweatpants and a t-shirt and i'm like no I want to stay in this so yeah some days i will stay in like my pjs but then there are other days where i change into like workout clothes to do a workout or actually like get ready like if you saw in my last video i got ready just for a tiktok which i think is very fun to do i said in that last video a bunch of us have probably forgotten what it's like to just get ready for something so i think getting ready is just fun and like you're not gonna see anyone so why not go full out you know did screen time increase definitely did especially watching like netflix and a bunch of youtube yeah screen time definitely went up. Next question, do you miss your friends? Of course I do. I miss them so, so much. I've been trying to keep in contact with them, whether it's FaceTiming or Snapchatting. I use Snapchat like every single day. So yes, I've been keeping in touching. So <laughs> what? So yes, I've been keeping in touch with them, but I definitely miss seeing them like the actual them. <laughs> Thoughts about online classes. Honestly, it's not that bad for me. Like this morning, I finished my work at 10 30 and it started at 9 that's only one hour and 30 minutes of school and then after that i just chilled so i'm very thankful that like my teachers aren't assigning too much work i know there are some teachers who are assigning like projects every single day and i'm like <laughs> like wouldn't you want to like take it easy on your students so yeah i don't really have anything to complain about it i'm just glad the school districts continued the school year because one it gives us stuff to do and then also i don't think we're gonna like repeat the school year hopefully not because i want to go to high school next year how often do you post on YouTube during quarantine? I post every single Friday. That's like my posting date. I think the first week that quarantine started, I posted two videos that week. And then after that, I've just been posting once a week. I think once a week is pretty good. <laughs> I would post twice a week. I don't know. It just takes a lot of time just to film and edit and stuff like that. So I think once a week is pretty good. <laughs> the next question is what time do you go to bed? It differs. It could literally be like 11 p.m. to like 5 in the morning. One time, me and Christian were up to like... 6 30 in the morning and then we went to bed i do want to fix my sleep schedule and maybe go to bed at like 11 i feel like that's a good time but i don't know if that's gonna happen next question do you have any tips on how to be productive in quarantine i talked about this in my productive morning routine but i've definitely become a more productive person during quarantine i don't know what it is maybe it's like all the time that i have and i just want to get stuff done my biggest tip is definitely writing down to-do lists i use a to-do list every single day whether it's like writing it down or just in my notes on my phone because if you actually like acknowledge what you have to do and write them down like you won't really forget it because it's always going to be somewhere and then also when you finish something you could like check it off and it's very satisfying so that definitely helps me being productive i do to-do lists for like my school assignments and then also things that i need to finish throughout the day how have you been coping with the changes in lifestyle i mean it's definitely not normal for me <laughs> some of my friends they've said like quarantine is normal for them already but honestly for me it's still like crazy and interesting to think about like i still can't believe like this is what we're going through if you told me we were going to be quarantined at the beginning of the year i would have thought you were crazy but that's what we're going through right now i don't know i feel like it's so weird just everyone cooped up in their houses and everything i mean i've definitely adapted to it i just still think it's interesting you know what i always think about it's how this will be in like history textbooks like imagine the next generation they're just reading in their history class the coronavirus in 2020 and like we're living through that right now. I don't know. I just still find that like kind of weird. I definitely think this lifestyle is just interesting to experience. I do love how my whole family is home and we get to spend more time together. And then also I've been more productive during quarantine. So there are definitely like pros, but you know, it's just like different from normal life. Okay. How do you manage to do school and YouTube at the same time? I don't know about other schools, but for my district, we have actual virtual classes. So we have to wake up at nine and then we have to get on to like Zoom or Google Hangouts and actually like meet with our teachers. So for for me, I really like getting school done in the morning. I can get school done in one or two hours, so might as well just knock it out, you know? So yeah, I do school in the morning, knock that out, and then I have the rest of the day to do whatever. Um, I could be working out, I could film for my YouTube channel, spend time with family, you know, just whatever I want to do. But for YouTube videos, since I post every Friday, which is just once a week, I just film whenever I can and then edit before Friday and then get it up that day. So basically, I'm just saying that I get school done in the morning and then I can focus on anything that I want to. <laughs> How often do you need to buy your acai pack? 
packet since you eat acai every single day, lol. But if you're new to my channel, hello. And also I'm obsessed with acai bowls. <laughs> They're just so good and I feel like I'll never get sick of them because it's like fruit and stuff. So it's like good for you. I think it depends on how many I make. Sometimes I'll make like one a day just for me. But then on other days I can make like three because my brother and dad also want one. So like sometimes the ingredients go by like this and we need to stock up like every two weeks, I think. Hi. Hi. You want to say hi to the video? Sure. Right. How to stay motivated when doing workouts. For me, I just want to stay active and fit during quarantine. You know, we can't go to our normal like sports activities and stuff like that. So like my motivation is kind of just staying in shape. I know a bunch of people are doing like the Chloe Ting workout and just like finding different workouts online, which is really good because exercise should still be a part of your routine. Whether that's going outside to take a walk or doing like ab workouts in your room, that's like what I do. And then also next year I start high school and they have a dance team. So I don't want to be rusty or anything like that. So I've been trying to stretch and do some little workouts every day and also like work on my technique so yeah i think my motivation is just trying to stay active and stay fit do you have school every single day i have it monday through friday like it was before again it's virtual classes that start in the morning and then i get it done in like one or two hours oh okay and last question how long does school take you to do on a daily basis it's one to two hours pretty quick if i don't like go on my phone and stuff and we finished all the questions those are all the questions thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed i feel like i should do these videos once in a while just to like catch up and talk with you guys if you guys would like to participate in these q a's you can go follow my instagram sometimes i'll post stories like ask me questions and then you guys can contribute to the video but make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel as well as turn on my post notifications so you get notified every single time i post or just come back every friday i'll see you guys in my next video stay positive i love you guys so so much bye